Right. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the cell cycle, cell growth, cell division. And there are two ways that cells divide primarily. There is mitosis and meiosis, if we're talking about multicellular things. And then there is also some single cells that use mitosis. And then there's binary fission, which is used by bacteria. So biology is the only subject in which multiplication is the same thing as division. And by that I mean in order to make more living cells or to make more living things, we have to have cells divide. So where did it all begin? Well, for you, you started out as a single cell, a fertilized egg, which is one of the largest cells uh, in the, of the body. And it's smaller than the period at the end of a sentence. And now you, you are what you are today. So how did you get from that single cell to where you are today? Well, the answer is division. Going from an egg to a baby takes a lot of division. That original fertilized egg has to divide, and it has to divide, and it has to divide, and divide some more. And eventually it becomes a human being. So why do cells divide? Well, one of the reasons cells divide is for making more living things, reproduction. Things like amoebas use a form of reproduction that we call asexual. It doesn't involve sperm and egg. And that simply is where this cell splits into two through mitosis. So this is one celled organisms primarily that use asexual reproduction. To grow, you've got to make more cells. So from that fertilized egg to a multi-celled organism, you got to make more cells. So that's cell division. For repair and renewal. So when cells need to repair or replace cells that have either died off or they've just simply worn out or have simply or have been injured, you know, if you've got a broken bone or something, you've got to replace the damaged cells, and that involves cell division, mitosis. So what do we need to make new cells? Where does it all happen? So if you think back to the cell, it involves a lot of stuff that is in the nucleus. And what's in the nucleus? That's where our chromosomes are. That's where our DNA is. That's where our genetic material. So if we're going to make a new cell, it needs a set of chromosomes, a set of genetic material identical to the original cell. In order to, to move the chromosomes so they get to the right places during cell division, we have a cytoskeleton, and that also does things like gives structure to the, to the cell and things like that. But in animal cells, there are structures called centrioles that are located right outside the nucleus, and they play a role in forming something called the cytoskeleton. Uh, the cytoskeleton also made up of microtubules that form the spindle fibers. And again, these are going to attach to and move the chromosomes during the various stages of cell division. So centrioles, as it says, are only in animal cells. They're a type of organelle that's made up of microtubules. And you can see in the diagram here, they form the ends of the spindle apparatus for animal cells. So how do you get the right stuff passed on to what we call the daughter cells, which are the cells that result from cell division? Well, first thing you got to do is you got to make an exact copy of the genetic material. The DNA has to be copied. Then the cell has to go through the stages of mitosis if we're talking about a something that's more complex than a bacteria. It also needs to make copies of organelles, some cytoplasm, make new cell membrane, enzymes that the cell is going to need, and various things like that. Once the, the DNA divides, that's what mitosis really is, is division of the nucleus, then we have to split the cell, and that's cytokinesis. That usually happens at the end of mitosis, and sometimes it may actually begin during the, the ending stages of mitosis.